way you'll get them and you can always cancel it whatever you know if something goes wrong or anything like that all right so let's talk about an opportunity to to resist the urge to mulch places that you can't get anything to grow because mulch is expensive i love personally i love the smell of mulch but i always feel like halfway through the season i should re-mulch and i'm not going to do that because i spend so much time and work and so how about trying an ice plant quilt? This is a six piece, they call it their WOW series, ice plant quilt, because look at all those flowers. This probably is the series that will give you more flowers and these flowers actually last four to five months. Look how incredibly gorgeous that is. Six plants, two each, hot pink, hot orange, and lemon cello. It is a sale price that we're offering you, so you're saving $5 and again, Shop with confidence. Let us reserve your garden for you because these will not ship out until it's the appropriate time where you live. So you don't have to worry. Yours will probably come unless you live in the Northeast. Ours will come at one time, but my friends who live down there in Georgia, they're gonna come at a different time for them and it'll be the right time each and every time. So you don't have to worry about that. It's M90294. All right, I believe it is Derek that we're gonna talk to. That's right. All right. I just want to ask you clarification. You said you like the smell of fresh mulch. I do like the smell of mulch. I know people don't like the smell of mulch. You don't Most like the... people do not like the smell of mulch, and that's a major reason why I use this in really? my garden because uh -huh. I think it smells like a skunk or <laughs> a sewer system, anything. I do not like the smell of fresh mulch. Well, I wouldn't wear so it as this perfume, saves me. so... <laughs> Saves me more than it does my garden. But <laughs> now here's the thing about mulch. You know, the United States is about the only country in the world that really uses mulch. Uh, Europe and, and everywhere else, they use plants to cover their ground. So what we have here, this is in one sense not new, and in another sense it is brand new for the United States in the sense that we are trying to cut the mulch project where, you know, we get however many hundreds of oh, dollars dumped on our driveway mm -hmm. and then we got to shovel it backbreaking effort you know over the next two weeks and then we got that big brown spot left on our driveway mm -hmm. um we're going to stop that we're going to ship this to your house you're going to plant these they're going to grow into a beautiful ground cover that's about four inches tall and they're going to last for years and years. They do not die back in the wintertime. They are poking out through the snow. You're going to have flowers on these from summer to fall. So How look incredible. at all this. This is blankets of colors. Your mulch going to do that? No. It's just decorating with death, as Dan likes to say. So <laughs> this is the fairy tale garden look that we all aspire for, Absolutely. that we all love. It is just swaths of color with zero effort because these are succulents. So once you get them in the first year and you get them kind of rooted, they're gonna do everything on their own years after that. So this is a Xeriscape garden. Nobody's out there watering that. That's just, it's just doing its thing. And that's how easy it is. And these colors pop. This is the wow series. This is gonna make you say, wow. Um, the colors are very vibrant on huge, almost half dollar sized flowers. And that's what we really love. And so, you know, I've got this right here with me. This is in bloom. And I wanna show you just what you're gonna get home. You're gonna get this six pack. Now, each one of these is going to produce, I'll show you here, I'll pop one out. So each okay. one of these is gonna grow into the size that you see here within oh, wow. the first season. By the next year, it's gonna double. And it's super simple, you know, if you wanna put these in containers, you can, but just for example, I like to put mine in the ground because that's mostly what we're gonna be doing ground cover for, right? You would put them in a container or in the ground about four inches deep, you put that in there, and then, you know, within six to eight weeks, this is gonna have been grown out all the way to the end of the pot. That's super simple. They're gonna come back year after year, and again, these do not die back in the wintertime, so you always have something green to look at. And what's great is, unlike the mulch, which every year we have to replace, this, yeah. you do it once. You pay, you plant once, it gets delivered. It's literally as easy as it gets. Deer and rabbit like it? 
They do not like it. It's so tiny and so small. Now, this is a ground cover that you don't necessarily want to be walking on too much. It can handle okay. light foot traffic, but not tons of foot traffic because okay. it is sort of a softer uh, type of tissue for the plant. Full to part sun there. Derek, thank you very much because we need a couple sets of these as well. We're, we have had that opportunity now to really um, think about our gardens, the trouble spots, the, you know, I mean, look how beautiful that is. Try it, you have nothing to lose. All right, so here's an update. The Good Luck Oriental Totem Pole. Very, very popular, over 300 of you. They're at a sale price at this point, M61669. So we had a late addition to the show, which I'm super